Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Mallet, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the start time using a T chart. The I can statement is I can determine the start time in hours and minutes when given the end time and elapsed time. The vocabulary you need to know is elapsed. As a refresher, when you're given a start time and end time, you need to find the elapsed time. That's the time in between the start and end time. When you're given the start time and elapsed time, you can find the end time. However, when given the elapsed time and end time, you need to find the start time. Finding the start time can be the trickiest of all because you have to work backwards, meaning you have to subtract time. So in this problem, you're going to have an unknown start time, an end time of 5.30, and a lapse time of three hours and 10 minutes. You set up your T chart the same way you do for elapse time and end time with time over here and hours and minutes over here. However, you need to remember that you are counting backwards. You are subtracting. And don't forget it. So instead of having a start time here, you're going to have an end time. And that is 530. And you are going to write end next to it on this side. So just like with finding end time, it's easiest to work with hours first. And you're going to count back by hours. So one hour before 530 is 430. One hour before 4.30 is 3.30. One hour before 3.30 is 2.30. All right, doesn't seem too bad right now. And now you're gonna count back the minutes. 10 minutes is how much elapsed time has passed. So 10 minutes before 30 is what you need to figure out. So you can ask yourself, well, what time would it have been 10 minutes before 2.30? Or if it's 2.30 right now, what time was it 10 minutes ago? And you can take away as little or as much as you want. You could take away five minutes and take yourself to 2.25 and you would have to do that one more time, so you would um, go up to the t 10 minutes of the elapsed time that you have. And that would take you to 2.20. And you could have also done this all at once with 10 minutes. It's really up to you and how comfortable you feel. So right now, the start time is 2.20. You have three hours over here on elapsed and 10 minutes, and that's what you were given right here. So, for instance, if I said, wow, I finished doing my homework at 5.30 and it took me three hours and 10 minutes, you could say that, yeah, that's because I started at 2.20. That would be a lot of homework, so that's just an example. So I hope this example of a T-chart for finding start time has helped you and I'm going to show another video where we cross over the hours because that can get really tricky when you're subtracting minutes but this is just video number one so good luck